Project Healing Waters Fly Fishing is dedicated to the physical and emotional rehabilitation of disabled active military service personnel and disabled veterans through fly fishing. And joining me to talk about the upcoming event taking place in our area, we have Josh Williams and Jason Slaughter. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks Thank for having us. So let's talk a little bit about this event. It's a, it's a tournament, is that right? So right. tell us right. about it. Talk about it a little bit. Um, well, it first started off, I uh, worked for an architectural engineering firm called AECOM here in downtown Roanoke. Okay. Um, we like to do various charitable events, um, give back to the community. So I thought it'd be a good idea to get something going where it involved the employees and something they were passionate about. So I thought about approaching Josh and Josh is part of Project Healing Waters. So we decided, hey, let's try to do a fly fishing event for the disabled vets, which they've been doing for years. Um, right. We reached out and we started reaching out to local organizations and support just grew and grew and grew and it got huge and it beyond what we imagined, you know, That's what we great. could do last year. Um, it was on the Roanoke River and, you know, it was so good and everybody enjoyed it so much we decided to go for round two and hopefully we can make it an annual event. Right, so it's the second year. Mm -hmm. So um, are there differences? Have more people signed up for this year because they were looking forward to it? We try to keep it at about a dozen vets okay. and, and, and guides for them. Um, what's different this year is we've had just a lot more support by uh, businesses and individuals that have really stepped up and given more or we've even had new ones that have come into play. So it's it's just been a really good example of local support from Roanoke for the for our, our local vets. Absolutely. So. so that's what I was going to say. It's all local veterans, Correct. is yes. that right? Yeah. Yes. That's great. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit about, because you were um, a part of Project Healing Water yeah. before this event started. Right. So I was in the Army. Um, I lost my arm in a motorcycle wreck. Um, and obviously I was infantry, so I couldn't do that anymore. So I went to Walter Reed for rehab. And it's at that time that I learned about Project Healing Waters. It wasn't even a year old, really. Um, it was just in its infancy and, you know, as you mentioned, it's a rehabilitative issue. Um, right. And so I got involved as a participant. And then when I came back uh, to Roanoke, because I'm, I'm from this area, um, we started a chapter, me and a couple guys started a chapter where um, we did the same thing here with the, the hub being the Salem VA. Okay. And it's just grown and grown and, and we've got just tremendous support. And, and um, so this is just kind of a a way to be a volunteer now and kind of help out with other vets that are coming through the ranks doing the same thing. So. Right. So what what kind of difference have you seen in your life, like personally, emotionally, however? Through Project Healing Wars? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it may seem simple, but I mean, like, just working with my hand taught me, you know, I, I basically learned how to tie my shoes, you know, tie a tie. Um, all that stuff came from, from that initial foundation of what Project Healing Wars was teaching me. The mental and the emotional aspects of it as well, it just really, uh, it's, it's, it's just a healing thing. And you're around other people, other, other guys and girls who have been in the same situations as you, and it's just something about that that's a little bit different than, than civilians. And yeah. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. I mean, I, I have a, a side fly fishing business where I guide people now, and I would have never even done that if it hadn't been for... So it's really Wars. had such an impact on your life, and now you're Very trying much. to kind of do that for other people as well. So mm -hmm. can we um, get the details on the event? We can come support. Sure. Um, how, how can we do that? And it's this weekend, right? Yeah, on um, Saturday we'll do a welcome dinner for all the vets and the volunteers and it's at Mission Barbecue, and okay. they're providing all the food for everyone. On Sunday, we'll, the actual fishing event will be at Smith River uh, Registration. The Smith Park. At Smith Park, Park yeah. yeah, not Smith River, I'm sorry. And um, we'll be at 7, and it'll start fishing at 8, but... The public's welcome to come and show support. Um, you can give great. donations to the local organization if you'd like to. Wonderful. Um, okay, great. So if you all want a link, we'll have it um, on our website if you want to donate or if you want a recap of this. Just go to DaytimeBlueRidge.com. Thank you so much for coming Thanks. in. Oh,